Mm. Victoria, what are you drinking? Can you get me to this one? Yeah, I can yep. do you through that. That was good. This is uh, is an Arbon Fizz drink. I got. I needed to pick me up. Yeah, me too. Out, you know I'm gonna get one. Hey, Will, you sound? Can you? Yeah. Uh, can you hear Victoria? Get one. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Will. How's it going? Good, yeah. Hey, you sound now all of a sudden you you went a little muffly. Like sort of like you're in a trash can. A little better, a little better. Nope, it's gotta go up more. When you were at the Got other it. mic, when you were talking Got to it. your other mic, so we could hear you better. Yeah. Can you hear this? Just work it yeah. out. Yeah. Better? There yeah, you that's go. Better. Oh, it's, it's, bada bing, bada boom. Much better. It's the, yeah. um, it's the, um, the, um, Logitech camera mic that's built in. So that's good enough. Good enough for, for me. Um, um, we're just in the studio. You're in Burbank. Bye. We'll do a live one. <laughs> <laughs> you hear? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. We're good. Don't you hate it when Zoom? All right. It's a lot. Oh, good. Four words, like eight seconds. You know what I'm talking about? Where it oh, sounds like that. a robot that's breaking. I know. All right. So, Will, you can hear uh, uh, Victoria. I hate that too. Yeah, yeah well, I put my phone on airplane mode, so it's not, so it's not sucking up any more uh, bandwidth. All right. Okay. Give me yeah. five seconds. You're uh, you're on to oh. something, kid. That sounds right. That sounds right. All right. Hey, this is Brian Sebastian. Okay. Movie reviews are more. The Women's Broadcast TV Network, now known as Worldwide TV Network, I T T seven, uh, all out of Tennessee, and also Women on TV TV. And so today, it's been a really wacky day. I would have actually done five shows, ended up doing three out of five, but we made it work. Will, uh, let's start with ladies first. So one co-host out of the 13, renowned singer, songwriter, my good friend, Victoria Renee Han. And so this Hi. guy, Will, you don't remember me meeting you. I interviewed you back in The Voice for NBC for movie reviews and more before you, before you became in third place. So I was always watching what you were doing. So, so I do remember you know, like producer, you know, two-time Grammy winner. You have to always mention that. And I love his background studio, the one and only Will Champel. Welcome to Movie Reviews and More. Ooh, ooh. Thank you guys for having me. Appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you. Hey, we gotta okay. talk about that studio. You got a lot of stuff there. I'm impressed by that. Uh, I share the studio. I mean, this is just like my setup you hear see over here, not that over there. Still, you got me wondering, got okay, it. I got an ideas already. Yeah. Uh, so this is, I'll show you real quick. You're trying, you're trying this to is like my. Yeah. That's my setup here. That's like. Nice. This is like my side, my like area. So just to give you a little bit more of a 3D. Love it. I like it. Victoria, you get the first yeah. question. Go it's ahead. It's a good view. Yeah. I got the first question. You sure do. What are you working on today? You're in the studio. Uh, We're going some new I, stuff. I, I'm not working on anything particularly today because, um, uh, yeah, I just I just got back to like just to talk to you guys actually. So um, I'm actually going to a session tonight. Uh, working on some more, some more indie dance music. Um, me and a couple guys we've been. Um, Pumping out some, a lot of songs I'm lately. So, kind nice. Of like, um, you have a writing partner that you yeah, work like with, like a like main people that you stay with. A few at the same time. <sighs> You're so cool. I mean, it's hard for me. A lot of times I have to, and I've been in a place where I've like, like, I was gonna collab on something with somebody, but then I was like. I got it like finish up so much to the goalpost that I'm like, mm, cool idea, but might as well just finish it. 
Yeah. Well, I hate, I hate having unfinished songs. Yeah. I don't like starting something and just like doing a halfway. That's my goal is like always just finish it. And then you're not sit, sit on it, come back, go, uh, go in further if you need to afterwards. Definitely. So I used to have a lot of unfinished records. <laughs> you know, Will, one of the interesting things. <laughs> what kind of music, what, yeah. what kind of music? Yeah, Victoria. Oh, I was going to ask her what mm -hmm. kind of music, what kind of music do you do, Victoria, if you don't mind me asking. Sure. Uh, pop, pop, soulful pop. Cool. Soulful right pop. on. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. Uh, sort of a, like, earlier Bruno Mars, Jesse, Ari kind of a vibe, like fun, uplifting, dancey, but they go oh. in vocal type of vibe usually. It's what I end up usually always going with. So. Nice. Yeah. Hey, Will, what I was say, always Brian? fascinated with you uh, learning to play the banjo. I was watching last year the history of country music, and for me, a banjo has always been very fascinating. When did you learn to play that? How did you pick that up? I play, I play, I, I had one like a little bit during just, just to play on some tracks. And I mean, I play a lot of guitar. So, I mean, I know they're different, but it's all about the fingers. Um, which is actually kind of like, once since I threw banjo into the mix, I like started playing guitar and like different tunings differently. Like I, I'll show you a quick, um, yeah, so, I mean, this is a guitar, but for example, um, how did I do this tuning? Because it was like, had, I did this weird tuning where I only cable a certain amount of strings. Uh, That's interesting. Sound. I know. It's different. You know, his banjo is like, uh, yeah. yeah, banjo's like D, G, B, D, and then it's like a high string on the top, which is, I think it's G. Damn, I haven't, I haven't like picked it up in a while, like, except to record a couple of things. But I, I nice. still have it. I intend on throwing it back in the mix, of course. Yeah. But what you, sometimes what it just happens. What do you like to be known as? Are you a singer first or are you a musician songwriter first? Because I always was curious about that because you also play drums at, and as a drummer, I'm a drummer, but I'm not that singer. So I could never really define where you were. Still, and I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not a singer right. first. I'm, def I'm definitely really? not a singer first. Really? I mean, You're so annoying. I can, I can sing. Yeah. But I, Duh. But, but a lot of times I'm like, I don't, I don't consider myself a, like, hey, I'm a vocalist. Oh, uh, really? That's not me. It's nah. that's what I thought. That's crazy. I thought so. As a songwriter too, because not all songwriters are artists, and not all artists are songwriters. But you really are. You no, just I do yeah, I mean, all of it. I guess I just consider myself a creator. Okay. A, a creator of that's, sound. Well, yeah, that's Notes and that's the jam. And words and. You know, All right. Vibes and thrills. So, as that creator, Will, because I can identify with that. That that makes sense. As yeah. the creator, what was that like when you won your two Grammys? Because what part of that brain did you actually create from them? Would you say? I mean, I was still trying to find my own, find my my vibe back even then. Like I was, you know, like right out of school, like Berkeley, like straight to Nashville working with people and and that was particularly in the christian gospel scene um and then oh interesting um yeah so that was um that's awesome i hardly even remember that like session but that was that was a different kind <laughs> of mind than i have now but it's still i mean it's still part of the part of the road you know well, well yes. yeah, you're, you're you're always grow. I mean, you don't want to have the same creative mind as you had ten years ago. That would be more 
that's a problem. <laughs> you got to keep yeah. creating. That would be like building a statue and being a bunch of awards for your statue and being like, great, that was fun. That's it. And just admiring your statue for the rest of your life. That The, fu the, the fun is in, in the making, right? Yeah, for sure. Not necessarily this renowned work. It's just like the journey. Do you like, I love being, I just did a whole writing camp for my project and I just got back cool. in the studio and I'm, I'm such a stage person. Like I love being on stage, but then going back into the creative process made me fall in love with that all yeah. over again, which that you love being on stage more or love studio work more. I miss the stage. I mean, I miss like <laughs> up there with my looping pedal and your guitar and some keys and like creating yeah. on that's what I did like I was you know um I mean I did some shows where like I'd loop over some track stuff but like with the band sometimes and then um yeah but then you know that I have nights so I'm like I'll just I just play like all all freaking night even if it's like cover stuff too but like I just looping pedal guitar I dropped the I'd have yeah. a pedal to drop it down to a bass, kind of dope, and percussive beats on on the guitar, like just looping it. Every yeah, that's my favorite and thing. Stuff. Yeah, um, and can't really do that now. So it's like why I'm like just full tilt, just trying to finish songs like like a mad man. Right. Good. Just banging out records left. Left and right, yeah, they're yeah. jam I mean, sessions, sessions happening. Like uh, most people aren't even in the stuff. studio. Yeah, yeah. I know. I, I've done I've done a lot That's of streaming, good. um, like live stream stuff with um between, you know, like solo stuff and then some some DJ set stuff too, and yeah, yeah. but just getting just psychedelic visuals going on. Oh. I haven't talked to Adam or <laughs> yeah, nice. or any of those guys in a long time. Have you have you picked up the phone and talked to Adam Levine in a while? Nah, I haven't. I I think I, I might have like chatted like 2017 maybe. I can't remember. It's been yeah. a while. Oh, you know what I just thought about? I have a song with. Uh, Brian, do you remember Sarah? I did a song with, uh, she was also third runner up, also on Adam's team from The Voice. Sarah, Sarah Clemens, Sarah Clemens, Sarah. Do you remember Brian? No, because she, I just did a song with her. I don't know, if you, I'm sure like not everyone all knows each other and hangs out from other seasons. Yeah. But wow, what she said, it was quite the adventure being on the show. You're talking about um, Sarah from, from US. Sarah, wait, hold on. I got I got her. To, hold on one second. Hey, Will, Sarah why Collins? you? Sarah No. Was it Collins? I got it. Sarah. <laughs> here. Oh, there you go. Here's a free plug. Sarah Simmons. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I did. I did some. I did some songs with her uh duets it was interesting it was fun sweet sweet girl do you do you know her you guys don't all know each other i'm sure right i think yeah I'm you watched sure the you watched the show before you went on it she was an earlier season than nice. now right i i, I stopped i i lost count yeah i think she was season three after... yeah Oy. After... Oh, okay yeah yeah it's before that's that's how i know because probably about yep. a couple seasons after me, that's when I probably like stop counting. They're hey, on I season stopped. like forty nine. That thing is a well oiled machine. Oh, wow. Woo, lot. Forty nine. I mean, it's forty nine, but it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It's not forty nine. Uh, wow. Exaggerating. I was making a point. I was making a point. Wow. Hey, well, I was gonna ask you. I don't know how many there are, but yeah, what there's was a it lot. Like when you played piano with Michael Jackson. What I always wanted to know that. I I didn't I mean it was just on a track and I didn't know the track was he was gonna write to. So that's how it went. That's that's how it went. Wow. You didn't know that was gonna be the one that he was oh, gonna yeah. pick. That's amazing. How did you handle that news when you found out he's he's going with that record? 
I like mean, you're on a track with Michael, with MJ. That's like a big deal. <laughs> that's, that's cool. It was He's one of the best. It's not like, it's, it wasn't like, it's not going to be like a cha-ching game changer. But it is, it is a cool thing. It is a cool thing. A Wikipedia page. Yeah, it's a cool little. It's a cool thing on a Wikipedia page. I'm gonna steal that. It's a it, it's a cool little knot on your on your road. It's a good one. Uh, exactly. Uh, you've had, a, you've had a, a fun little journey, it seems. Just yeah, mm -hmm. just in, in general. Oh, Michael's album. That's that's an honor. Exactly. Period. That's how I look at it. Even if it From, was so, even if well, I, well, Will, I looked at it I this way. I was crazy about money about it. I looked at it this way. From someone who was interviewing you because you had a career before that. Some people may have knew you, some people not. And then it's always what happened afterwards. I think of you, I think of Adam Ember. And I couldn't be happy for certain, some of the people. I even think of Daughtry, at the point, you know, uh, of talking to a lot of them. Yeah. See where they are, and it's always good to follow up to see what they're creating now. That's when I look at it that from a drummer's point of view, who's not drumming anymore yeah. as a fan now, if that makes sense. For sure. I couldn't do that. I love the creating. I mean, I'm obviously a fan of music. I think you have to be if you're going to go into this. It's not something to do if you just want to get rich quick. This isn't the thing <laughs> for yeah. sure. But like, <laughs> you know, you got to like love it. But I, it, it was, it's hard. I think it'd be hard to just sit back and watch people. I got to do it. I got to do it too. That's like the whole point for me. Yeah, I think. I don't know. Well, I, I love the process of it. Well, have you been listening to anybody in general, or you've been writing something for anybody, or for yourself during this town downtime? Yeah, um, I got a couple things. I don't know. If you want me to, you want me to bust a couple out? I can. Yeah, go ahead. Um, totally. I was gonna pull a couple up from SoundCloud or something, just to give you a taste of something. See what, see what it got. Oh, I gotta log in. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. Logging into SoundCloud. And Victoria, what have you been working on? Why he's doing that? Uh, I just did. I just had a writing camp at uh, my studios, Penthouse Studios, that I work out of, and uh, we got. We did 11 records in like 18 days or 10 days. Wow. And I'm super excited about them. I'm just waiting right now to, to get them all uh, mixed because your girl does not know how to mix, obviously. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just go from there. I'm, I'm super excited. I think I, I definitely have, a, I know which one's going to be my single for sure. I'm oh, really excited to play it when I get it back. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be fun. It was one of those uh, organic songs that just happened it fast and perfectly. You know, that doesn't happen like that all the time. Sometimes you're writing a song and it takes, for me at least, two or three days, two or three sessions, and then kind of fix it and then whatever, whatever. And then every once in a while, just one thing just so like regurgitate <laughs> you know you're just like yep that's it that's the one well what's your least. i don't know if y'all can hear i don't know if you can hear this um hold on a second thunderbolt um did you hear that through the zoom or no i heard something yeah, I can hear it.
<laughs> I see. I like that. Who was that? That was me. That was that was all me. Really? That's like a kind of, yeah. kind of record live I've been making lately. Yeah, it's like kind of indie dance, a little disco house or whatever. Um, that I that's exactly what I just did too. Yeah, like, like that, that disco kind of. Yeah, I mean. Some of my faves are probably like Rufus De Soul, um, Chet Faker, Right, Rye X. They all happen to be Australian for some reason. I, I see a pattern. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I yeah, I, I, yeah, I like stuff like prog, just like super vibey, worldly type of stuff. I guess. I do too. Uh, yeah, I do too. Yeah. You know what that reminded me of? It reminded me of, of walking in nice. uh, a, a premiere after a red carpet. That's what that was that, that vibe like. And I like that because you never know what you're going to hear with something cool like that. Oh, you guys are in for something. Sure. Um, this, this one right here, you might like uh, disintegrate. Where is disintegrate? I got to look for the recent one. OK. Where is the final mix of this? Victoria, is your process like this? It's a cool uh, tag. Yup. Everyone's a little different, but I mean, he's probably definitely different than me. You can engineer and probably produce oh, too, yeah. huh? He plays all the instruments. I'm sure he engineers and produces too. Yeah. Um, this would. Um, it's a cool sound. Self-awareness went for a ride into a place so beautiful where there's no judgment, there's waterfalls. <laughs> Victoria, I see That's you singing. Dope. I can hear you in that. I really like this one. Yeah, I really, really like that one. Yeah. It 
it's so vibey, bro. That's good. Good job. I really like those sounds in the beat. I have like not heard one. that sound. There's yeah, a lot of sounds I haven't heard. Like that one. Huh? I wrote that myself. Like that was just another one I just like wrote over like winter break and just Damn. between like I don't know, drum and bass tempo stuff like gets me. Uh, me too. You know, that with like beautiful swell like their analog sounds and stuff like that. You know? Oh, and that I just love washy, it. Good contrast. Washy. Good contrast. Playing around with like auto. Yeah, it's like weird stuff. Yeah. Dang, that's how long did it take you to learn how to do the like? I mean, it's I, one thing to be able to just play an instrument, but then like creating it. Yeah, mixing, through. mixing is is a whole nother. Like I've like watched. Uh, <laughs> I have to probably give credit to like producer Dojo. His little shout out, producer Dojo, Ill Gates, and uh, Seth. Uh, what's his name? Seth. Um, Seth Drake. His whole mixing approach. I've watched a lot. Uh, uh, just off, just seeing like friends' videos and stuff. They got it, like, and just get my can and. Yeah. Um, Will you remind me? Of, you remind me of an earlier version of Prince yeah. when he was in the studio earlier on after his uh, controversy album, just playing with everything. That's what I see yeah. behind the scenes. Also, you have that yes. disc jockey factor of when I was a disc jockey. He had a lot of records. Yeah. I, I've, I've got a lot of records like- Wait, you were- like, What? Yes, Victoria, I did a lot of things before we met. Are you gonna release them? Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I definitely <laughs> will. That's I releasing on an EP. Uh, that's, that EP is gonna be dropping soon, probably. A month and a half, two months, maybe. Oh, cool. Okay, awesome. Bad up. Good for you. That's exciting. I probably, yeah, probably releasing is Kill Will. I'll still use my Will Champlin name, like you know, with in in connection with it, so like leverage those Spotify followers or whatever. Right. Um. <laughs> so it just oh. hit that release radar. But yeah, I've been going by like yeah my alt ulterior name, you know, Kill Will. So. Um, I'm gonna, I'm doing the same thing right now. That's so funny. Like a, all of a sudden, random like switch doing doing some Queen Vic stuff. Never done that before, but it's just a new thing. Yeah. Do you? I kind of don't you think being having an alter ego is awesome though because it's kind of like a detachment. You get a kind of it's like an artistic license to just do whatever you want. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's you know. Um, that light switch is what you're. Oh, you were just talking about that light. It's all about that light switch. Yeah, I haven't heard it put that, that way, but yeah, that's that's the thing. That's what it is. The light switch, like Lady Gaga or Prince, definitely. It's a. Uh, do you do you get nervous though? Does that make you nervous to to um to go on stage ever? Or are you so are comfortable with it at this point? I mean, when everything is fine tuned and I got it together. Because I know like, on the voice that had to be nerve wracking. Yeah, because I, I'm more nervous if I'm if I'm doing if I'm trying to like fit into more glamorous type of shoes and 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 sound more like a, you know a belting freaking singer like which I could do, but. Takes a toll sometimes. You don't, but this is the yeah. real you, though, isn't it? Oh my it? god, yeah. It, it kills brain cells to, to yeah. see those high notes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> I mean, it's you did it a cells. lot too. Yeah, those they kill brain cells. <laughs> I, I believe that. Yeah. And and your vocal cords after a while, and then you do it, and then it's like a self fulfilling little thing because everyone's uh, expecting you to, and you're just like, man. Yeah, it, you can't always yeah, do what they're 100%. expecting. Sometimes, some of the effortlessness is, is <laughs> there's more beauty in it, and and you know, in in the unexpected, you know, than that. I'm discovering that too right now. You're exactly right. You used to try to pull your biggest trick out, yeah, right, it's hard like to, every it's single hard time, to think like, it's hard and then to it's think not. Like, it loses its meaning. It's hard to think of like prolific lyrics when you're like, when you're caught up in the mindset where you're like, oh, I gotta like build this section and that, you know, like so people know it's me. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then you're thinking about your vocal performance as opposed to what you're singing and exactly like, yeah i get it 100 yeah. percent. yeah yeah exactly it's like a whole thing that's cool that that you uh that you recognize that because yeah. it is a lot you know people are and then i'm sure people when they start writing for you everyone's trying to do the whole thing in this like big belt high pitched like and you're just like guys one time at the end you get it once at the end and that's it that's it for sure just in my opinion hey will give your that's social media links so people who may or may not know who you are what's that give your social media links so people who may or may not know oh, who yeah. You are. oh yeah sorry um uh, you mean to type it or, or just tell you just tell us Okay. Uh, Instagram, it's it, it's either Will Champlin at Will Champlin. I'll type that here. That's the same for Twitter, Twitter and IG. Also, um, I've got uh, Kill Will. Will Kill Will C. Uh, Twitter and I'm never on Twitter, by the way. Um. See, yeah. I'm actually gonna okay. go and follow like you now. Cool. I, just, just a warning. I'm, I'm never on Twitter. Good job. No, IG. I, I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm on there because I'm, I'll post like, yeah, this kind of stuff, you know. And then Victoria, give you social media links. Yeah. It's Victoria Renee Hand, pretty much across the board. Yep, Victoria Renee Hand. Awesome. Did I just say my own name wrong? <laughs> Victoria Renee Hand, R E N E E H A N D, like the appendage. Yeah. Finger gun. So, Will, we got about two minutes. What's the, <laughs> what do you got coming up that people uh, that you just talked about briefly? Anything else coming up? Um, yeah, so I got a couple collaborations coming out um, with um, a friend of mine, uh, Echo Zoo, and uh, Craddy from a group called the Glitch Mob. Uh, we got two tracks coming out soon. Should be, uh, I think, on Mother Wolf label, which uh, we just released a track last week on. Um, awesome. It's called Waking Up Karma. That's uh, yeah. So um, we got some cool hard hitting bassy soul tracks. Uh, dropping soon which, uh, between me, Echo Zoo, and Craddy, and uh, uh, some other people. I know what I'm going to do with you when we uh, when we have you back. Awesome. Ready. I want to I want to see if you'll have time if you come back on. You can play it for us if you can. Love to, absolutely for sure. All right, Victoria, what do you got coming up before we? You got to come out to to our studios too at Penthouse. Yeah. What'd you where, say? Where's it at? Zoo. Beverly Hills. Hills. It's right across from the beautiful. We got there's like a dope little, little penthouse studio. You may have even been there before. I don't know. Nice. And uh, yeah. it looks out over the whole city, and it's just it's super vibey. You would like awesome. it, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I'd love to. Let me let like me know. It. Sure. It's a fun time. I slept there awesome. last week. <laughs> well, I'm sure you did. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just can't. I did. I literally slept there. I did. I and you were, you were excited that, too, Victoria, weren't you? I was you? tired. I started a whole new vocal track at 5 a.m. And I'm like, guys, I can't, I can't hang. I got to take a nap. Yeah, I'll there, see you there's a, in a few hours. I got a couple friends of mine, like, they're trying to get me maybe, maybe to do a, this desert party thing that's uh, on top of a bus and play and, like, run tracks and play, what? like, a set, like, yeah, Mojave Desert type of thing. I'm like, ah, oh, let me see if I can work up. Like, they're like, come out for three That's days. Fun. Three days. I'm like, I maybe do like one night, and then I got to bounce the next day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know what? Yep, hundred percent. Three days. Yeah. Like, Ball yeah. back. <laughs> that, that's a lot of there's a, there's a I mean, that's that's demanding. Like, like the burner scene, you know? Yeah. I mean. Um, and that, oh and my that's god! Yeah. I, I had to get I had to get yeah. steroids for my ENT. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if I can go that right. long. I mean, like right to you. One one night and then bounce in the morning. 
play a great set. Mm, you know. Yeah. All right. Plus, there's a bunch of people. It's not for, I don't know about for you, but for singing, it for me, it's not the singing that ever hurts my throat. It's the talking. Like, if there's loud music and I talk over people. Oh, yeah, yeah. Done. Yes, that could be great. Day. Yeah, yeah, not for good. Sure. All right. Uh, so, for Victoria mm -hmm. and and Will Kaplan, Will, it's an honor to see you again. Thank you, Brian. You know, when you're when you're ready the next couple months, make sure Victoria's back on, and then we'll have Sherry from British Columbia, our, our Maxim model, because uh, she loves, she can't get into the country, so she loves sharing all the stuff to all her Canadian friends, which will awesome. be good. So Fan. with that, yeah. this is Brian Sebastian, Movie Reviews and More, the Women's Broadcast TV Network, now WWTVN and Women on TV .TV, IQ 247 out of Franklin, Tennessee. We will see you next week. And if you see someone out of smile, take Victoria Renee's hand and give it to everybody because the world needs a new smile.